Hello, well, it's time to make a little video again just to let everybody know how I'm how I'm doing. It's now I'm passing getting into the fourth week of uh, the isolation, social distancing. I have been I have been social distancing for a long, long time. So for me, this is a I know this rodeo very well. So really, no big changes in my life. I have to be honest. I could not say anything else. It's going very well. My friends are taking good care of themselves. Also, we are much in contact by Skype, and we are very much in contact also by telephone. Uh, food I have here. Oh, I got a freezer full of stuff anyway to stay in my diet. Thank God, before this all happened, I filled up all the important keto stuff, so I'm okay for at least two months. Uh, so, hey, let's see what comes. I'm, I will keep talking, but I will do the next uh, the address. I will tell you if there is anything. It's just a bit blah blah. I added a few walks with my dog. I have a, I'm having a problem with my hip. I was looking forward this spring to have a hip operation on my left side. My right side is done already. And I was uh, basically being scheduled for that, but with this uh, coronavirus, I'm sure the hospital will not do any unnecessary operations. They, uh, they, I'm sure they want to keep places open for important things. And life is more important than a little bit of pain of mine. So I'm, uh, you will see me laboring under every movement I make. I'm quite in pain at times. Uh, sleeping at night is almost a thing of the past. I'm having a hard time finding any position comfortable for me. I do find some, then I have to sleep quickly for half an hour before my, the pain wakes me up again. But I get used to it. This is not something to cry about. I'm alive, that's good to know anyway. Um, in this area, we have everything is sort of on, on a sort of semi-lockdown. They're very strict. It's still, all, all the unnecessary stores are closed. The grocery stores are open except for Sundays. And uh, you have to, of course, distance yourself and they keep an eye on washing your hands or sanitizing your hands. Uh, in this area, at the hospital, they have at the moment 27 cases hospitalized. I'm not sure if this actually includes the cases known. I think this is unknown cases. Not every case is hospitalized. That only happens after the first week when some symptoms get severe. So I assume there is not quite as many. But I'm sure the hospital is uh, preparing everything for a bigger rush in case it is needed. Uh, maybe they did it early enough to really stop the spread. The road, the whole Gaspésie is actually closed off. Traveling is only if necessary. You are allowed to travel. The police cordon of all the highways leading from and to to my area where I live and uh, this is just to keep down the people maybe drinking a little right for two three days of the some hours in distance you have to stay in your region where you home it's going very well people are following the orders people are very compliant and this is good to know I have seen some areas on YouTube where people are just never mind there will always be crazies out there so but I'm doing fine I will should play now the video of of the, of the dog outside in a bit it's a long leash I'm just excuse myself I look in terrible shape because I'm like I said I have to walk hunched over I'm doing this and I'm, I'm actually looking like I'm limping with my right foot but this is I'm using my right foot to protect my left once or twice my left it seemed my left foot completely disappeared oops and then i'm of course would be on the on the floor so i'm trying to make this very short steps and uh, well it might have to be till next year that i have to suffer through this but uh, it will happen if everything goes well well uh, you will watch the video now and then we talk later Okay, this is our little cut into one of the walks I do with my puppy now. Oh, the extra long leash. This is actually four long leashes tied together. And uh, she, well, I do it at least once, sometimes two, sometimes three times a day. 
that time it was only once and she was not even that much in need of running. At times she's running like crazy up and down, up and down and using up all her energy. But that day she was having fun, but she didn't need the exercise. She chooses however it works out for her. Um, well, I'm happy to have taken the dog at the end of January in and adopt her. Now with this social distancing and, and so, living all alone would be a bit, even a bit harder than having her around helps me. Sometimes you will hear me yelling when, because some of the video will have actually sound with the different cameras. I'm using three cameras, the drone and two cameras. And uh, for example, this has sound. You will hear me yelling. This is for her to stop running before the leash is to an end. Otherwise, I'm always afraid she'd choke herself to death one of those days. I'm just warning her when the leash comes to an end. So she... well, she's just having fun. And little bone who I want her to be happy to come back to me every time I need her to. It's working quite well now. Like I said, she's running, but not as crazy as she is sometimes, like just bananas. The other day, like social distancing works for me and for her too, but for animals in general, it's not so such success. The other day I was in the kitchen, I was in, I smell skunk. And I opened the door and I run into a cloud of skunk smell. Somehow a skunk passed in front of my door and she was sleeping on the side of the house and the skunk must have run right into her. Whoa. See, I yell so she stops. It's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's terrible. For 24 hours it smelled terrible outside the house. But strange enough, she survived quite well. She didn't get hardly anything on her, a little dusting. But even today, two days later, it's almost completely disappeared already. Lucky, otherwise I would have to suffer for weeks and weeks of the skunk smell. Although I'm a person that is not so much influenced by the smell of it. I have seen people, they get sick just smelling it. Me, I've had, the, it's not my first rodeo with a dog. In Canada, you have skunk, porky pig. Porky pig means, uh, the, what do you call that? With the porcupine. And all the fun of experiencing that as a dog owner. So, Canada, we are here I have every morning, every spring, I have visit of. Those are my. Oh, yeah, I'm taking the video you? of my cameras. Those are my video drone hanging there proof and my GoPro on the post proof of video yeah that's about the end of this little thing I will well like I said it's working out well the skunk thing I got lucky honestly it would have been just a pain in the ass having the skunk smell around for a long time strange enough usually Outside, I thought it would be smelling for weeks, but with the melting of the snow and the earth smell, smells of the fresh soil and so, somehow I don't smell it really. There's a little bit lingering around the front door, but not that much. Well, um, it's not the first time people say it smells like skunk in your place. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Well, this will be now the end. And do you notice that uh, my dog is getting used to the drone quite simply, quite fantastically. I think I will have fun with her going flying with her together this summer. She is not panicky anymore. She is, I even took off bes right beside her and she did very well. She respects it, but she is not in a panic about the drone. As you can see, I'm quite near her. She's just looking. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching this. Well, that's the end of that. Hope you enjoyed it if you watched it for just uh, 
I'm so happy with my new puppy. She is fantastic. Although something happened to, well, oh, I will tell this on the video itself. Social distancing for animals does not really work. <laughs> so um, thanks for watching. Until next time. And be careful out there. Watch yourself. Be punt. Don't take chances. Ciao.